husband. Megan, call 911. Heidi's having her baby. Oh my god, Heidi. This baby's coming right now. Oh, okay, what can I do to help? Get me some towels, oh. some hot water, oh. and some soap. Oh. I'm gonna have to help her. Talk about it. Aiden and Jade, is there something wrong with Ren? Did he find you? Yes, Yami. Ren found us and he told us everything. And he wanted us to return this to you. It's Shaylin's medallion. Ren did as he said and he gave Shaylin a decent burial. I'm somewhat surprised that Carrie Ann is here, considering. Please understand, I was all like you. I was under Clive's spell. I had no control. I suppose the young girl is right. You know there's no one left in the colony. Even Wren? Why isn't he here with you? Why didn't he come back to me? This baby's oh. coming now. Oh, God. Hand me some towels, Breathe. Tammy. Breathe. Oh, 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 Push, Heidi. Push. It's coming, Heidi. It's coming. One more. You did it, Heidi. You did it. It's a girl. Why? Why isn't my baby crying? 
Why isn't my baby crying? Kareen, what's wrong with my baby? I'll tell you, Andy, I don't know what to do. Sounds like your love life is back in the dumps again, Mike. Sorry, but you need to report this to the police. Not that simple. Detective Vaughn, or former Detective Vaughn, thinks that the police chief is behind this shooting. Mike, this is a major story. No, Andy, I don't want us doing this story. It would ruin Bev. It would kill her. But, Mike, you know who shot Kevin. You just can't sit there and do nothing, whether it's Bev's son or not. Andy, there's no way we're doing a story on this. Mike, you're making a big mistake. This is the story people would love. Imagine the amount of hits it would get. Andy, I know that. That's why I don't want it out there. Kevin! Oh, hey. Uh, can I come in? You're out of the hospital? Is there something wrong with my baby? Come on, little one. It's time to get out. Come on, little one. I just got out. I took a cab over here. Still a little sore though. You haven't been home yet? You see, that's just it. I don't want to go back there. I was hoping I could live with one of you two. Oh, my place isn't that big, but... Why don't you want to go back to your place? It's too dangerous. They know I'm alive. I need to be somewhere where they can't get me. Kevin, you're putting us at risk. You're asking a lot. Ren left me a note. He said he was coming back. That was his original plan, but... But when he seen the ruin of the colony, after he destroyed the Black Stone, he was free for the first time. He always wanted to see the world, and this was his chance. His chance to see the world. I could have done that with him. Yami, yeah, he's a young man. He wants to go and explore the world and take in all the experience. And then he'll return. I have to tell you, you both did a really good job raising Ren. I can't thank you enough. We love him as one of our own. We should actually be thanking you for believing in us to raise him. You realize that Clive and Zenith are in town as well. We're not worried about Clive and his wicked sister. We're moving to the Sioux, and we have a booth at the mill market. Yep, and I'll be selling my wood carvings, and she has her lemon tart. Well, that's great. I wish you both the best with it. Yeah, and in the meantime, we can all wait for Ryan's return. Well, mother and baby are doing fine. Excellent. Is she sure she doesn't want to go to the hospital? Well, she said she was fine, and the baby too. Well, that was a close call. And one more thing, Heidi want me to tell you, you're hired. I am? That's wonderful. She wondered if you would move into the guest house to be here 24-7. Move in? Well, um, I suppose I can. Wonderful. Heidi's going to be here for quite a while until she finds her own home. There's no rush, really. What about you? Are you okay? Well... I think so, Kareen. I think I bumped my head or something. So that's how you ended up on the floor? Kareen? I think I saw my dead husband. Excuse me? I know I sound crazy, but the power is out during the storm. I heard someone at the door and I answered it and 
It was Nick. I know it was Nick. Uh, but how could your husband be dead if he was at your door? Yolanda, Nick, I'm back. And the deal we had is off. Next on Tammy. In such a whirlwind around here. But if Luigi or someone else from the mob comes to look for me, I have no idea what to do. Putting my daughter and me in jeopardy. So are you gonna tell me what happened with Mike? What do you mean the deal is off? Eight long years, Yolanda, and I can't do it anymore. I found this pregnancy test in the bathroom, and it says positive. 